previous videos uh, we have seen uh, one of the policy called uh, target tracking scaling and in this video i will show you how we can use the simple scaling policy uh, based on the uh, cloudwatch alert so basically the idea is uh, we'll create uh, two uh, cloudwatch alert one is uh, to scale up and another is uh, for uh, scale out okay? um, and uh, i mean like uh, one alert uh, will just keep checking the cpu and <clears throat> if it is greater than 50 percent then it will add the instance and another instance uh, another uh, alert will check if the cpu is below 50 then it will remove the instance from the auto scaling so um, the auto scaling group and other other uh, resources were already created in my previous video you can go through that i am just starting to uh, you know create the cloud watch alert so in here uh, automatic scaling you know, i have created uh, uh, as of now i have not created any policies over here so first of all let's create the uh, simple scaling policy okay. Uh, I have not created any alarm, so let's keep it as it is blank. And um, uh, here, when this alarm uh, triggers, I want to add one instance, okay? And uh, I can set the default to 60, okay? Perfect, okay. Uh, let's create another policy as well. In this policy, when this policy will trigger, this cloud watch will trigger, it will remove one unit from the auto scaling group. Okay. Now we have two policies defined. Forget about the LRM. I will create the LRM later on. So this LRM, when this LRM will trigger, it will add uh, instance into the auto scaling, and this LRM will remove one instance from the auto scaling group. At the moment, I have uh, I have set zero 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 because um, this idea is that as of now I I don't want to run an instance. Okay, so we'll create uh, we'll set the uh, capacity over here after creating the LRM. Okay. Now let's create the CloudWatch LRM. Before that, uh, let's create uh, one instance. Yeah, so let me just set the auto scaling policy to one so that it can launch one instance. And I'm setting maximum to five. Okay, so one instance is already created and uh, this is running into this scaling group. Now let's click the cloud watch alert. So I'm selecting the auto scaling group and uh, its metric name is CPU utilization. Okay. In here, I want to ensure that if the CPU is greater than 50, then I want to add new instance into the auto scaling group. Okay. 
let's keep it as it is don't change it okay i don't want to notify to anybody okay the the action item is whenever that alert will be triggered uh, the error will be triggered when uh, cpu utilization will be higher than 50 percent then uh, what we want to do and what is the action item that we want to apply so here the action item is uh, to add new instance okay uh, don't change anything over here and just simply keep the name this is created let's create the other okay fine this is created now we want to create another alert and uh, that alert is that uh, when cpu reach below 50 percent then we want to remove the instance okay uh, so the simple way is that i can directly copy this alert so i can just use this copy command okay i can go below i can use this for record i can just put 49 just to avoid any confusion okay over 15 okay next uh, okay here i will select second policy okay and i don't want to notify anybody the scaling action is that uh, i'll remove the instance okay? okay fine so we have now two alerts created one alert is to check if the cpu utilization is higher than 50 in that case add new instance and if the cpu is less than 50 then remove instance and this each the, the both the alerts uh, uh, cloud watch alerts are linked to the uh, um, auto scaling group let me show you see you can see that alert okay this alert has been set over here so we have now two policies which are attached into this scaling group okay and now if we will go to the cloud watch This alert is already triggering now because the CPU utilization is less than 15. But the the reason is, uh, I mean, like um, it will not affect anything because the minimum capacity is set to one. You can see here. Okay. So and uh, we already have only one instance. So now it cannot remove that instance because we want to ensure that at least one instance should be running. Okay. Now, uh, as per the last video, let's. Uh, let me do some exercise and uh, uh, you know increase the cpu so that uh, the second alert this alert can be triggered uh, so that when cpu goes up to 50 okay Here uh, the timeout is 600 seconds, so uh, it will keep stressing CPU till 600 seconds and then it will normalize the server. So, uh, in this time, actually, our, uh, um, our alert, uh, let me show you. This alert will be triggered 
because uh, it will stress the CPU to uh, to increase the load on that. This load will be triggered and it will keep adding one instance at a time. Okay, and after uh, 10, 10 minutes, um, uh, it will uh, normalize the CPU and then uh, this alarm will start uh, triggering and it will increase the uh, instance from the auto scaling room. So we, let's wait for some time until this our uh, CPU goes up. Well, let me show this the exact uh, status of this CPU. Uh, see, uh, this server CPU is going up, it's 90% and uh, the alert has been triggered uh, and uh, it will it will launch another instance uh, into the auto-scaling group. You can see that uh, the alarm has been triggered, the policy is 1, see this one, okay, and uh, it will increase the instance and you can see that new instance will be added into this and desired capacity will be set to two as of now let's let me refresh it again okay you can see now and uh, at the same time uh, uh, we will need to wait until uh, this trace finish and then once it is it goes below uh, 50 percent then it will again um, trigger this uh, remove alert and it will remove the another instances from the same okay so uh, i'm not going forward and uh, to show you other things uh, because we have already triggered this and uh, let me directly just uh, uh, restart this server so that uh, it can normalize the cpu and after that uh, the another remove new instance alert can be triggered You can see uh, CPU is normal now, and uh, this alert should be triggered now. Let me refresh it. Okay, you can see that this alert has been uh, triggering, and because the CPU is below 50, and it will now uh, take the action and it will start removing the instances. Okay, let's see what happening. See, desired capacity reach to two. In here, activity we can see that it is terminating, and uh, policy two is triggering at the moment, and it is removing the instances from the auto scaling group. Okay, so that's it, and uh, it will keep triggering this alert until uh, uh, the auto scaling group will be set to one and in fact like it will always keep running this because uh, the cpu will be always uh, less than 50 at the moment and that's why it will always keep running but as i said it will it will not remove uh, all the instances it will keep one instance running because the minimum instance is set to one okay so that's it thank you